Today we're going to create a function in VexCode VR. We're going to start off first with a blocks example of this, and then we'll re, uh, uh, transition to a Python example of doing this. Um, so functions in the blocks version of VexCode VR are uh, down here where it says make a block. So you click on make a block and then you have to name this block. So for instance I am going to create a block or a function uh, that just like any of the other commands but uh, my own that moves the robot from where it is now uh, to a set Y position. So I'm going to call this move to Y position. And that's the name of my function. And so once I've done that, now I have the, the first step in defining what that function is. And so here is where I will put the code that will make that function happen. Um, so in many cases, um, we're using a while loop to do this. We're going to move while this forward, uh, while this con whatever this condition is, is true. Um, since we are down here, this is a very simple example, it's not a versatile one, but we're going to move while the Y position, the current Y position of the robot is less than where I want to go, where I want the robot to go. So we're going to put the Y position of the robot in here. And we're going to move to not some uh, specific number, but to a variable yet unnamed called y. Whoops, y position, which I now have to name. So let's create a variable. And this is called y position. That's the y position I want the robot to move to. So now I have defined, oh, I'm going to ask the robot to stop, actually, after it's done this motion. OK, so this is the definition of this function that's going to move the robot to the y position that's been given to it. Um, so first, in, my, in the actual program, I'm going to tell the program uh, what I want that y position to be. So we have this function, this command here, where I can set the y position to some number. I don't know, let's say negative 200. Uh, then I'm going to call. Now I need to call my function. I actually have to use it in the program. So here it is at the very bottom here, and I'm going to drag it here. So it's just like any of these other commands in this list, um, but this is my command now, my function. OK, so this is going to move the robot to the position negative 200 because I've passed it this data through this variable. Uh, let's have it do something in between, like rotate 360 degrees. And then uh, let's do it again, because uh, the purpose of functions is so that to keep clarity, here we're doing something, in this case, rather simple. But if it was more involved, we would be doing something that we could compartmentalize into one step, one function. And it makes it just easier for the user, whether it's you in two months from now when you've forgotten what it is, or someone else reading your code. So let's now set a new position that we want the robot to move to. Let's see, how about positive 300? And then let's run this function again, call this function again. All right, so what we hope it will do is move from where it is to negative 200 by this call, rotate 360 degrees, and then move to a different position um, 300 millimeters. Let's see. So here it is moving, and there is negative 200. Excellent. It's rotating. Now it finishes the rotation, and now it's moving to 300. Thank you for listening.